Okay guys, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at converting preferred stock to common stock. How do we do the math there? How do we evaluate it? And so we're going to just look at some of the math. Here we go. Okay, so preferred stock. Uh, in this case, in our first example, the preferred stock or the share costs $150. Now let's say that the business has been doing really well and the, and the preferred share price is not really changing. Um, so we decided we want to try to convert from preferred share to common share. And so we have this convertible preferred share that was worth 150 and its conversion ratio is 5. So what that means is this preferred stock is worth 5 common stocks. Okay, so if I decide to convert, I get 5 common out of this one preferred. Okay, but is that still going to be better? Yeah, we get 5 stocks, but as you can see, the common stock right here is $32. So if I get five of them, does that beat the 150 I already have? And that's the question, okay? So let's go ahead and convert, do the math, find out. So I'm gonna press equals, and then we're gonna do $32 for the one share, but we get five of those. And this is gonna tell us how much would it be worth if we converted. $160. Um, just a quick heads up, you can notice that I've got different kinds of uh, formatting here uh, this one I have set to accounting I could set it to financial uh, I can get rid of the zeros by pressing the buttons up here um, so all the formatting is up here I'm actually just going to convert this to currency and then get rid of the zeros uh, normally I would prefer changing it to accounting or financial okay okay so it's worth $160 so we have a, a par preferred stock of 150, but if we convert with the five, it right now would be worth $160. So that's a, that's really good. Uh, so in my opinion, I, I mean, if I if I want to capitalize on it, I could I could wait. Maybe it'll be worth more later. But if I wanted to do it right now, I needed to, needed to do it right now. Uh, hey, I'm making money on this trade or on this conversion. So. Uh, the last thing we need to, to figure out math-wise is the conversion premium percentage. What that means is, is it's just a percentage to tell us how close are we to the, to the value that we originally paid. Okay, uh, So let's take a look at how we do that. I'm going to write this out actually. Um, and, and then first I'm just going to write it out and then we'll hit enter and see what happens. But what you do is you take 100% and then you subtract... Okay, the value of the new value divided by the old value. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this up for a second. This is 100% minus the $160, which is the new value, divided by $150, the old value. Okay, so new divided by old, 100% minus that. And it says this. Now, this isn't a very pretty number. I want this in percentage. So what I'm going to do is go up here, format this as percent, and it's negative 6.67%. So what this means is, is that I actually um, am making money. If it's positive, it means I'm not, I'm not to the number yet. But if it's negative, it means I've passed my value. So would I convert in this case? This is kind of an opinion. Uh, to be honest, it depends on the situation, depends on the person. Um, but I'm going to say yes on this one because uh, I'm going to be making money off of it. Okay, so let's look at one more together. Let's say I have a convertible preferred share of $77. Okay, if I convert it, it's worth 11 common stocks. Okay, that's a lot of stocks. But what's the common stock market value? Okay, market value right now is $6. Ooh. Okay, well, I can do the math in my head. This is not going to turn out well, right? Okay, so we got 11 stocks at $6 in value, right? Okay, so we got 66. Again, I'm going to convert this. Uh, we'll go with dollars. I'm going to get rid of the decimals because we don't need them. No change in this example. So $66. Okay, so we, we, we have a par of 77, and if we convert it, uh, we're losing $11. 
right? So let's calculate that percentage. We got 100% minus the new, not the biggest. Okay, last time the biggest was the new, but we got the new, which is smaller this time. 66 divided by the old, 77. Oh, what did I do wrong? Forgot the equal. Uh, by the way, you can always, if you click on a, a bar, whoops. <laughs> if you click on a, a bar and you want to change what's in it, you can always go up to that little bar up there, press equal or whatever, and uh, there you go. Okay, let's convert this to percentage. Okay, so we are 14.29% away from getting it to be equal. Okay, so would I convert in this case? Mm, probably not, depending on how many I had. I guess if I had just one and I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way, maybe I felt like the business was about to boom and, and it would be worth it, but uh, I don't know. In this case, probably not, so I'd say no. Okay. All right. But there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just important that you take the time to think about what would you do. Okay, that's the whole point of this exercise. But that's it for today. So if you guys have any questions, uh, just hit me up on the chat or the email uh, on Canvas, and we can talk about this. Uh, if you're in class, then just ask. Uh, but your job is to now finish the remaining four. And uh, no questions, then I'll see you next time.